this video, I'm going to show you two Blender add-ons that are a must-have when it comes to rapid environment creation in Blender. Now, the first add-on is called Nasarga. Nasarga add-on is a mega library of nature assets and a one-stop solution for 3D artists who need realistic nature assets in their scenes. Nasarga add-on covers, covers everything from trees, grass, wheat, flowers, shrubs, pots, etc. with top quality assets that you can use anywhere you want. Nisarga add-on comes with an easy to understand and responsive interface that help you manage the great asset library. The panel comes with a categories drop-down to distribute assets in the most convenient and accessible way. Nisarga comes with 14 categories including bonsai, bushes, conferous, desert, evergreen, flowers, grass, marine, miscellaneous, palms, pots, trees, and vegetation. Upon choosing a category, you will see respective assets with very fast and responsive preview. There is also a support panel so that you can directly ask for help from the creators of the add-on or view the documentation. The add-on comes with a lot of features, starting with the ability to spawn assets at center or cursor. You can change the default phenomena of adding an asset on the origin point to a particular location by switching to the cursor. And while you are on cursor mode, place the cursor at your choice of location and then click and add Nasarga assets and the newly placed asset will be added at the cursor location. And if you are at the center mode, no matter where the cursor is, the asset will be added to the word origin. You can also make the assets editable, so linked assets save a lot of memory, but if you need to tweak them, convert them to edited. Also the add-on comes with faster viewport performance and rendering. All the assets are linked in a way such that you have maximum viewport performance with a higher number of assets. And also the materials and textures are optimized for faster rendering while maintaining the quality and the details. Also the thumbnails load extremely fast, faster than any other nature library on the market. You also have a snap to ground feature so you can snap the asset directly to the ground within a single click. And you also have a randomize feature so nature is random and to add randomness the random transform feature is introduced. Using this you can add an extra bit of realism to your scene by rotating and scaling the assets randomly. If you want to reset the random transformation you can do it very easily by clicking on the button just below it. And that will undo all the random rotations and scales. You can control leaves brightness right from the Nasarga panel without going into the shader setup. And that was just a simple brightness slider. Also Nasarga scatter system has a very simple and intuitive user interface which lets you easily scatter all Nasarga assets across the terrain. You can also randomize all the scattered assets in terms of position, rotation and scale in just a single click. And that's using the randomize button. Now I think viewport display optimization is the most important thing for a scattering system and thus the add-on introduced several solutions for this like viewport display density and bounding box display and also proxy display for the scatter system. The second add-on is called Flora and Flora add-on is a mega library of flowers. It has 160 plus ready to use flower assets. An important note here is that if you already purchased Nisarga add-on, you don't need to purchase this one as Nisarga consists of most of these assets and those extra assets will also eventually be added into Nisarga add-on. So it's a better value for money to buy the Nisarga add-on but if you only need the flower assets and you don't want to spend more money on other assets then Flora add-on is the right choice for you. And that's because, as we said, Flora comes with more than 160 ready-to-use flower assets. It offers a very easy to understand and responsive user interface that help you quickly preview assets and add them into your scene. 
It features loading thumbnails faster and quickly letting you view all of the assets. It allows you to choose between if the asset is to be spawned at the world origin or at the 3D cursor. You can snap the assets directly to the ground within a single click and you can randomize the orientation of assets in a single click as well. Also, you can check for updates in the preferences in a single click with all the new features available in the new version. Now, Flora add-on comes with the Geometry Nodes based scattering system which is derived from the Sarga add-on. The scatter system is rich with a lot of exciting features like viewport density control, scattering randomization, paint scatter system, altitude mask, slope mask, wind animation system, log scatter system for safety and more features will be added to the scatter system as the geometry nodes evolve. Now if you want to check out these add-ons, links are in the description. Tell me in the comments below what do you think about these add-ons. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.